Recount Thursday is sponsored by Arena Eats. Log on to the website, arenaeats.app, that's arenaeats.app, for the ultimate fan experience. At your favorite sports venue, Arena Eats mobile app, pre-order, express pickup, and in-seat delivery. How do you place your order? I kind of got in. I got into a discussion uh, with somebody on Twitter uh, <laughs> this week. No, it wasn't a fight. I know what everybody's <laughs> thinking. It wasn't a fight, and it wasn't the New Age Insiders. Okay, but well, so let's just tap the brakes now. Um, but I, 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 somebody was. Although, real quick sidebar, I love that you uh, had this really long message to the New Age Insiders. It was like multiple paragraphs, and what was their response? Like, yeah, you too, bro. Basically, I mean something along those lines. Something along like, those lines. Always respect, yada yada yada. They're like, mm-hmm. good guys. <laughs> it is what it is. Um, but I, I saw somebody commenting about like today's wrestlers, like wrestling, like wrestlers of today are, and the word they used was dumber than like wrestling in the past. Oh, this is the guy that entered the 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 private chat then as well yes correct. yeah because he was yeah, we right were there. we were tweeting and back and forth and then he also messaged and like because first i asked for like clarifications i'm like what exactly does does that mean so i guess to him he's he's kind of saying that the in-ring style of like previous generations was and again the word he used like smarter than what we see now today's guys are are dumber meaning acrobatics the words he like he said like you know taking like kicks to the head and i wanted to be like bro you know like they're like slapping their thigh right you know like they're not actually like wait kicking themselves oh shit ryan you didn't know um and i guess because like he was he was equating like acrobatic like spot wrestling as like putting themselves at risk and um you know shortening their careers this and that as compared to you know like you know back in the 90s when you had like rest holds and stuff like that fucking chair shots to the head right Right. and and those were some of the things that i pointed out to him as i was like you know they they used to just like chair shots to the head and like I mean, guys literally like got through their schedule by like doing like drugs and and all sorts of stuff just to like percent of the attitude era wrestlers are dead. Right. And like I didn't I didn't go as far to say that. But I again, like today's wrestlers like are probably overall, I would say probably in better shape, more aware of their health, mental health, physical health, um, and like to and and just the craft in and of itself of wrestling to to get to the level and and what these guys are doing now. I mean, and I'm not fault. I'm not like taking anything away from the wrestling we grew up on, but I'm like the guys today are are every bit as, as good of a worker as as wrestlers. But like, and it just. Like is is the style of wrestling today dumber? As Were this guy you put, arguing with Christopher Nowinski. <laughs> I was not. I was not arguing with Christopher was Nowinski. Was he referencing Christopher Nowinski at all during this? Uh, I don't remember his name coming up. He was wrong. What era is he saying was smarter? I think <laughs> that the Bruiser Brody era, because that's like. Cause, cause to me, like, if he's gonna say the eighties, then man, he must thought Jimmy Snooker was stupid for jumping off the top rope. <laughs> like, uh, the con- the conversation, like, what era? The conversation, like, came about from reaction to obviously delayed reaction, but like to like the Undertaker's comments on. The Joe Rogan thing. And about like today's wrestling versus like, well, in my day we brought guns to the locker room. Um 
so a person's doubling down on Mark from Texas's stupid <laughs> comments on the Joe Rogan show. Kind of. Is, is doubling down and now saying that wrestlers are dumber. Because... See, I, I, I read the comments that, that he was like private messaging us. And, and I feel like, and correct me if I'm wrong, he was trying to keep it to in-ring uh, risks that are being taken. Whereas in the 80s and 90s, to like bring a, a match down, well, that's would use that's like where it... rest holds and arm bars to like bring the match down, and then like rising action again to cap it off with a finishing move. Oh, Whereas we... today, a finishing move is set up by multiple kicks, a couple of uh, tombstone pile drivers, and like three launches from the ring. Is that that's think what he was yeah, trying like to well, say? that's where he kind of moved to because like initially. When I first when I first started responding, it it kind of encapsulated everything, and then when I think he realized I made a great point about like guys being aware of like mental health, physical health, like you don't you don't need to do pills and guns and whatever in the locker room to be smart. Then he kind of shifted to to in ring work, but then the point I made too was like the you know if if we're talking about you know late 80s early 90s the stuff even they were doing then was considered like wild and crazy to the beginnings of what pro wrestling was so like comparative and I, I, my point was that the business has just kind of evolved with where each generation has kind of dictated it they're so much better athletes too. Like you can't you. deny that. Right. I mean, thank you. Big guys back then were like Haystacks Calhoun. Big guys today are uh, Keith Lee. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> uh, really athletic big guys. Uh, the Choo Choo Man. I mean, crazy athletic. Yeah. Right. And it just it baffles me when people like ask this. They people like ask this question and don't instinctively think in their head. Oh, science. Like, <laughs> like football changed from being a running game to a passing game. And I bet you everybody thought that the first team to really heavily throw the ball was stupid because it's a risk to take the ball out of someone's hands and throw it in the air to another person in the hopes that they catch it. Same thing with the three-point line. They put a they paint a line farther away from the basket that gives you more points. Oh, that's stupid. Why would you ever <laughs> shoot from out there? It's so far away, you can't make it. And that's now not- the NBA is strictly the three point line. It's Rick so much the three City. point line that they're talking about making a four point line. Wait, really? Yes. They're talking about expanding the court out sideways okay and i'd be able to have more room on the perimeters and to put they just want point. fat guys to never play basketball making it yes. fucking wider when, yes when i mean i mean i'm not even the, you know, the the biggest nba guy by any stretch of the imagination but there's not a lot of fat guys in the nba anymore is no, there i'm just saying like even for pickup ball never mind we ain't fucking never well, i was gonna say when, when was the last pickup game hey, you played hey meet me down at bonfield we'll shoot some moves <laughs> I'll give the rebound. <laughs> Three That's minutes later, we're done and yeah, we're going to get yeah. tacos. First off, those yeah. are half court games, and I'm standing my fat ass under the net waiting for a rebound. That's, That's it. That's all I got. Recount Thursday is sponsored by Arena Eats. Log on to the website, arenaeats.app. That's arenaeats.app for the ultimate fan experience. At your favorite sports venue, Arena Eats mobile app, pre-order, express pickup, and in-seat delivery. How do you place your order? But, like, wrestlers are so much more athletic, and the rings are better now, too. Like, if you Mm -hmm. watch wrestling in, like, the 70s and 80s, remember how absolutely terrible terrifyingly loose the ropes were yeah 
like the famous video we've all seen of Akeem hitting the ropes and slipping through Ooh. them because yeah. they're so loose. Yeah. The ropes are tighter now because it allows for people to jump off of them. Well, because I feel like a lot of times because there was like big fat guys in wrestling uh, back then that we got a lot more of the, you know, arms tied up in the rope spot uh, yeah. with, with the big really guys. Tie, like You can't really tie somebody's arms in the ropes with these tight ropes. Yeah, that that rarely, if ever, ha- I, can, I don't remember the last time that that spot happened. I think it was Baron Corbin. Okay. I think that they tied Baron Corbin up during the uh, the Lacey Evans Baron Corbin versus uh, Seth and Becky feud. Okay. Yeah. I think he got tied up in the ropes then. But other than that, like, or it might have been Seth that got tied up in the ropes. Either way, somebody did. But yeah, it 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 rarely happens. Yeah, it's just yeah, it like, and I was I was actually really proud of myself because I didn't I didn't get sarcastic, I didn't get prickish, but like like it just it it went from the initial question of like what do you mean by that, <laughs> and then I was like I was just like I I just. The business has evolved. Wrestlers have evolved. Um, you know, and, and I think, and I, I always go back to like when you, when you had the nineties and the two thousands, when you kind of just blew the doors off of the business in terms of like, you know, kayfabe and believability. And, um, you know, back in the day, like finishers finished matches and then you would, you just matches kind of turned into, you know, how many finishers can we kick out of and, Rock has seven elbow pads so he can do the people's elbow nine times and stuff like that, that, that it's hard, it's hard to go back once you've seen that. Cause we've seen times where, you know, it's it, Daniel Bryan and AJ Styles are having a good wrestling match or Daniel Bryan and Drew Gulak and they'll be in a, a sequence of wrestling moves and a good portion of the crowd is quiet or chanting boring. And it's like, you know, so so you can't you can't necessarily go back, or or you have to be in the right in the right setting, like NXT or NXT UK. Like, I mean, again, we just did that watch along, Ryan, where we where we did the the finally I watched that that tag match from the UK takeover. That was pretty fun, and you know, it it felt weird that the crowd didn't boring all over that thing because I feel like in in some cases you would have gotten that here. But yeah, it's just you know the, the the business it just has has changed. And again, if you have that preference that you prefer that style, that's fine. Sure. But I don't think anybody's going to say the people on American Ninja Warrior are less than the folks that competed on American Gladiators. <laughs> that's a great analogy. That's a great analogy. Um, and see, at least Nitro would have uh, fucked people up today. Right. Lee says, the first two guys I saw wrestling a style similar to today's in-ring style was Tiger Mask and Dynamite Kid. That was in the 80s. Um, not the smaller worker's fault. Vince didn't really see money on smaller talent. Great point, too. That's a great point. Um, but, yeah, it, you know, I, I just saw it, and, and I thought we'll, we'll, I'll, I'll, I'll pass it around the, uh, the group here. Um, any other thoughts on this before we go to break? I think the person, whoever it was, is almost correct if he just changes the word smarter to simpler. Yeah. And sometimes smart is simple. And why a lot of people praise like the revival for being great tag team wrestlers because sure. they keep it simple. Like there's an analogy, like everybody's heard it. Keep it simple, stupid. When you put increasingly difficult things, it can easily convolute something. Yeah. Like we've all seen wrestling matches where the guys go out there and they do eight minutes of literally everything they do. Yeah. Yeah. But it doesn't matter. Like, I hit you with this, you kick out a two, you hit this, I do this, you do this. 
eight minutes. What did I watch? Right. But then you give me eight minutes with two guys who do half that and a lot of just like looking at the crowd and like rest holds and instead of like abusing strikes, one strike matters. Like less is more. It's simpler. It's not as just ridiculous. The problem is, though, once we've gone past that threshold where one strike matters, it's hard to go back. Because what makes Dax Harwood's one strike so much more powerful than Shelton Benjamin's one strike in a tag team match? It depends on who the opponents are. Like, if it's Rey Mysterio versus Shelton Benjamin, Shelton Benjamin should hit Rey Mysterio one time. And Rey okay. should hit Shelton, like, six. Yeah. To get the same eye. effect. <laughs> it, it's, it, there's, there's stories that are there. And it's like, you want to know who, who the best example of someone who used to do too much and now has pared it down. Sting. AJ Styles. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. AJ That's Styles great. in TNA did all of his stuff every match. You get the spiral tap and the, the springboard 450. And it was before he was doing the phenomenal forearm. And he was doing the Styles Clash and the neck breaker deal. He did all of his stuff. That's kind of like a, a like, what he did kind of on the indies in, in, in a bit too. Right. So he was still and, working that indie style. But the indie style is do all of your stuff so that if somebody sees it, right, they see all of your stuff. Right. Sure. And like it, it's, it's cool. It's flashy. But then like what makes that person's matches better like like give me something give me less than everything that you have so that if i come back next month and you do something different i'm impressed but if i come back every month and you're doing the same thing every month why am i coming right i saw it i like to watch it but i saw it last month i saw the same guy do the same thing last month right but that's what you like i like wrestling but I I like watching Monday Night Raw, but I don't want to watch the same Monday Night Raw every Monday night. Stuff has to change. So that's why you haven't been watching as much Monday Night Raw. <laughs> They're in. The opening match was AJ Styles versus Jeff Hardy, and that's where I stopped my viewing of Raw. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 has, it has definitely uh, definitely been repetitive at times. Ryan, you brought up the uh, the Rey Mysterio in his eye. Yes. When whenever whenever my wife is watching, or is I shouldn't say watching wrestling. Whenever she's in the room and wrestling's on, if anybody goes out near the step, she goes, "Are they going to lose an eye?" It, it fucking cracks me up every goddamn time. Recount Thursday is sponsored by Arena Eats. Log on to the website, arenaeats.app, that's arenaeats.app, for the ultimate fan experience. At your favorite sports venue, Arena Eats mobile app, pre-order, express pickup, and in-seat delivery. How do you place your order? <laughs> 